If you are looking to start a new cleaning business or level up your current business, then you're going to really need to know how to charge correctly. And in this video, I'm going to give you the best advice on whether or not you should charge hourly and why. And stay to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you how you can get the free pricing cheat sheet that's going to help you charge correctly all the formulas and tips that I use even in my business so that you are going to be that professional, well-known and well-paid business that you want. Hello, hello, it's Shanique here and I support you new and considering cleaning business owners. So subscribe for everything sales, marketing and productivity so that you are well paid and well appreciated. And if you want to go deeper in this information and get mentorship, then check out the Cleaning Boss Accelerator online course. You can check the link out in the description box below. I remember starting my cleaning business and I was super intimidated. I was scared to charge and present premium prices to clients as if they're gonna know right off the bat that I'm new and why do I think that I'm worth this amount of money? So I often lowball myself. And what I realize, and if you are doing the same, which you're going to realize very soon, is when you do not charge correctly, I was completely burnt out. I begun to resent my business and I resent the clients because I wanted to, I knew I was worth more, but it's like they didn't want to or it wasn't their fault. I never presented them what real cleaning prices or professional cleaning prices would look like. So of course they're going to take on these prices. They're cheap. But let me share with you why I choose to move away from hourly and I charge per job and why might you stick with hourly but how to do it efficiently so that you do not resent your business. Question all cleaning business owners are asking is should I charge hourly or should I charge per job and from experience doing both doing a charge per hourly is more for your buck you get to cover more of your expenses and you are perceived more as a professional cleaning company versus a solo cleaner as well as charging per job is more scalable as you bring on a team or a employee into your business and I typically suggest that you charge per job to get the hang and as well as if you want to bring on a team faster and sooner than later, charging per job is gonna really help you with that as well. However, would I suggest to go hourly at any point in your business? Yes, I would say if you are completely new and you have no idea what different square footages look like, you have, you've you never stepped foot in a home, you never cleaned before, or you never cleaned your, even your own home before, charging hourly is acceptable. However, with my next tip, I'm going to share with you how to do it correctly so that you're not stuck in charging hourly and you are not perceived as a solo cleaner and you are still looked as a professional cleaning company. Let's get into how to charge hourly so that you are not perceived as a solo cleaner and you're still well paid and well appreciated. But first, I want to share with you the free pricing cheat sheet that you can check out in the description box below. This is for anyone who has never cleaned before. It's going to give you suggestions on different home size and how long it will take and other tips on how you can form formulate your prices in any marketplace at all and other suggestions and tools that you can use. So check the description box down below and download your free cheat sheet today. Right, so if you're choosing to start with hourly because you have no experience, this is something that may make you a little bit more comfortable, then what you can do is charge hourly. But this is how you do it so that you are not attracting nightmare clients, you're not perceived as a private cleaner, and that you're respected still as a professional cleaning business. And it, there's two things that I suggest. that One is making sure that you have some kind of trial period disclosure or price recalculation disclosure in your cleaning agreement. So that could look like for the first three months, we're going to be charging you $25 an hour or $35 an hour or $45 dollars an hour and then after that we will recalculate the price or you could already have a a price that you have in mind and let them know what it looks like out it is for your three first three months just to make sure that you like our cleaning and if you want to continue with our services after that three months and what you could also do is even if you are doing an hourly rate and in your agreement you can let them know that 
your prices are subject to recalculation within six months or a year so that when you do go ahead and revisit pricing with your clients then you can let them know what new prices are and they won't be surprised because they've already signed out on what a recalculation price timeline would be like for your business. The second thing you want to do to still be perceived as a professional cleaning company, even as a new cleaner, is that you are charging, your hourly charging rate is still competitive to the marketplace. So what you wanna do is call anywhere from three to five cleaning businesses around you Check out the rates are for any given property and figure out what the hourly rate is. You don't want to be charging $20 an hour if your marketplace average is $35 an hour because again, you're going to be attracting clients that don't want to pay professional cleaning service prices and what you want to be doing is still competing for clientele that understands and value a professional cleaning company. So stay around the $30, um, $30 or even stay with $35 an hour even if you're going to start with an hourly rate as a professional cleaning business. Keep in mind, all properties are different and between all different clients, their needs are also unique as well. So don't shy away from getting the experience and going out there. And the more you clean, the more it becomes second nature, the more confident you are with adapting with different environments. And that is the excitement of having your own cleaning business. Whether you are going to be cleaning or not, you get the experience of just understanding the business in general. And if you want to receive ongoing mentorship and have step-by-step -step guidance, then you want to check out the Cleaning Boss Accelerator course because you get your first three months free in the Cleaning Boss Mentorship Group. Definitely check out those links in the description box below. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing if you have thus far and those returning as well. I'm so looking forward to seeing you next week.